Is this the end of you? I really feel like E3 was the most amazing experience I had as a gamer. And PlayStation State of Play and Nintendo Direct and Inside Xbox, depending on how successful these things really take off and seeing how PlayStation actually stepped out of E3 2019, may see a decay, a slow decay of E3. This is all speculation. PlayStation with what they delivered on the state of play yesterday. They should have just came to E3, delivered some type of user interface for these games. Primarily, a lot of these games were VR games with your Iron Man VR, Five Nights at Freddy's VR, an amazing new game called Concrete Genie, No Man's Sky VR, you have a lot of VR games that's coming out. So if you're not in the market for VR and this PlayStation State of Play was the thing that urge you to go and save up for VR, then by all means, disregard this statement. If you're not really looking forward to getting the VR until the next PlayStation console that comes out, which hopefully they have a lot more user interface and a lot more to do with the PlayStation VR when the P PlayStation 5 comes out. But as of right now, PlayStation 4 and the VR, I really think is being really redundant and overused. I haven't even had an urge to really go and pick up a VR as well as the PlayStation Move controllers and everything. I just don't see the reason to go get one. Now, Concrete Genie was a beautiful, beautiful game that it kind of had a little bit of the video game known as contrast elements in there. And it really did take a uh, new creative look on Chalk Zone. I missed that cartoon so much. It, it kind of reminded me a little bit of a lot of different things and I do like ideas. So I will go pick that game up. But for the VR's concern, I'm, I'm not sure that I'm really sold on the VR just yet. It's a cool thing to have, but I don't think I'm going to get one just yet. And the fact that they released character reveals and more announcements for Mortal Kombat 11 and they gave us an update on Days Gone. I really don't feel like I'm missing anything else outside of that. There's a game called Observation that's also coming out for the PS4. PlayStation did say that they're going to be making more of these state of plays as it comes and throughout the year. So I mean, for that being their first one, I don't think it was entirely terrible i'm not going to i'm not going to say it was terrible i mean if you already have a vr it's it's a dope thing for you because you can just go out and <laughs> pick up anything you want i mean it's it's good but before everybody jumps on me be like ah you you can't say e3 is going to be taken taken away it they've got a lot of stuff for nintendo and xbox and everything but what if Xbox takes off and people look at more of the directs for Xbox and more of the directs for Nintendo and Nintendo decides, hey, we just want to skip E3 also. We want to skip. We want to skip. And we want to skip. Then it's going to be just a thing of the past. It's going to be no more. For me going to E3 and seeing all three, all three console juggernauts there. And I get to go to the Xbox side. I get to go to the Nintendo side. I get to play Quake when it was out. I, I got to see all of these different things. I got to meet Shuhei Yoshida. I got to meet game theories. I got to meet the professor. I got to meet every single person that I did not think I could ever meet in one place. Even if Nintendo and Xbox remain and PlayStation just decides to go entirely to state of play, hopefully this is not the case. I hope it's not the case, but I have a strong feeling that this may be the end, the beginning of the end for your brick and mortar conferences because now it's all going digital. I'm really concerned right now because it was a awesome first time experience as a gamer and it was something that was awe inspiring to see all of these games. It was a big arcade. It looked like a big candy store for somebody that is a gamer. I just want to see that one more time with all three of them in there and competing to show you the best gaming experience. 
and show you what they have to offer in person. I just I just hope that it does not end. What do I think of PlayStation State of Play? PlayStation State of Play, I really was not interested in a lot of what they had to bring besides Concrete Genie. I really did not like any of the VR games that had to come out. Honestly, I'm not going with the vast majority because I don't watch any of people that talk about it being terrible or really great. I just go off of my own opinion and say the VR, the VR stick is, is kind of dry to me. I, I don't see it really being pushed more than I did yesterday. I think they could have gave us some more updates on Final Fantasy VII Remake. What's up with that? A little bit more of Shenmue 3. Could they have done a little bit more of Last of Us 2? What's, what's being worked on with these three games that you announced to us a couple years ago? It's, it's something that a lot of fans want to see and want to know more about because all we're going off of is the hype that we were delivered two plus years ago. This video is going to be kind of short. This is the Devout Joystick. I bring you the latest gaming news, reviews, and walkthroughs. And this was kind of my opinion and my outward feelings on what I thought about the PlayStation State of Play and what I thought it was really going to deliver us and what it didn't deliver us. And I hope that they know what they're doing and they are not making mistakes, but more. I just, it's, the wind is getting taken out of me because I'm really upset. I really wanted to see more from them this year because I was planning on going this year because I didn't go last year. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Mm -hmm.